Hello everyone, my name is Shushwat. My journey with Fiji started when I first wrote uh, the Big Bang Edge test when I was in class 5. Like, I did pretty well in that exam and I got admission into Little Genie program in class 6. So I thought it would be like just any other coaching, it will be just easy. Then I, ch uh, I started freshly from class 7 and class 8 I was in Udaya program and it was nice. I, I could feel the change after that one year of Fiji which has changed me a lot. It gave me a lot of confidence in myself. And then I joined the Supreme program in class 9. I was in JE batch for class 9 and 10. There they coached me for NTAC exam. Uh, they taught me math and social. And till class 8, I had a different view of in social science. I thought like uh, social science is just, you need to mug up everything and this uh, just replicate that in exam. But the faculties here in Fiji, they changed my mind on social science and uh, they just cultivated this uh, interest in social science and still I have that interest in social science and especially in current affairs and all those things and I cleared NTAC uh, stage 1 and then stage 2 also I cleared, now I am an NTAC scholar and then uh, class 10 board exams didn't happen, it was online so I just gave some random marks in school and with the pre-board exams and then like class 11 was also online and I joined I took up the Zenith batch and I was in NEET and NEET program and I started preparing for uh, NEET especially uh, I will concentrate much on biology because it has more weightage half of it is fully biology and uh, class 11 I started preparing then that was also online and only class 12 we started having offline classes. I thought class online classes will be pretty boring but the, the teachers and faculties in Fiji they made it pretty, very interesting, it was very interactive and uh, like I never expected this kind of uh, these online classes will be very good and uh, I gave KVPY in class 11 and I cleared it uh, and I'm a KVPY scholar also. And then came 12th, 12th uh, I gave these Olympiads which is, um, I, gave, I gave like all of this chemistry and biology and chemistry and biology I got selected to second round and for third round which is for the OCC camp like I got selected for biology and chemistry I missed the cutoff by one month. My preference was actually chemistry because I feel I was very good in chemistry, better than biology, but I lost it by one mark. So it's a bit sad, but okay, like I attempted this OCAC camp and it was fine. And these Olympiads, like they just, uh, it is, it just doesn't test your knowledge, but also your problem solving skills. And which is, these skills can be acquired well, not only by just studying NCRT and, and, uh, and solving like NCRT related uh, questions. These skills can be acquired only by uh, solving these uh, packages which is given by Fiji. And those tests which are conducted by Fiji are really good, especially the CHAP test. These CHAP tests help us to understand our uh, weak areas and they make, us, uh, they make us to improve our weaker areas and do better in the phase exam, which will be a combination of many chapters. So like, I did proper test analysis in each and every test and the important thing is that you should not miss any test because I feel that the testing methodology of Fiji is the best compared to any other institute and they got the best testing methodology so you should take use of it. I have seen some of my friends who have missed these tests and they regret it at the later stage. So I advise all the all my juniors to not miss any test. Even you are sick, you come and attend the test. You you will know something by simply attending class. Uh, you will uh, learn at least 80% of these concepts. Remaining 20% only you have to do the, these uh, self learning at home and pro solve these problems. So my way of uh, studying is that I used to finish at least 95% of uh, learning in the classroom and remaining 5% I used to do these problem solvings at home. So I didn't feel that kind of stress or something. You shouldn't take any stress but you should take it seriously. There is difference between these two things. Some people will feel that I am not taking stress and they will not take that seriously. And uh, during on the day of exam like I was not uh, that serious also I would say I was joking around 
and when i reached the exam center i got that seriousness up and uh, like i felt that adrenaline running in my veins and uh, i got that seriousness and then i started stressing out i knew i was stressing out then i took some time i calmed myself down before entering the gate i calmed myself down and uh, like i said okay uh, mo- you should motivate yourself there will be like lots of other people who will tell who will call themselves as motivational speaker but only if you can change you can only change your mind other people can't change your mind so you should mo- start you should motivate yourself and then you should think that you can do better you will do best and then i thought that to myself and i entered the exam i didn't think of any like what marks will i get like will i do better have i studied enough and uh, have i done this have i learned this topic have i learned that did i miss any topic i didn't think about any of that that thoughts that thoughts came to me before entering the gate so that thoughts made me stress up so now i left that thoughts aside and then started focusing only on this exam and whatever you do before it doesn't matter only the 3 hours 20 minutes which you sit for the exam matters so even if you are prepared like if you don't feel you have prepared enough that 3 hours and 20 minutes only matter and even if you prepared too much also that 3 hours and 20 minutes matter so i gave my best then i came out uh, i just checked one or two answer keys and uh, like and then i enjoyed the rest of the day with my family so i wouldn't say i was not stressed at all because uh, i felt the most amount of stress after the board exams like when i started giving up various tests like this uh, fmts test and uh, tapasya test series and fmts test series they really test your uh, concepts and uh, tapasya test series is more about like neat level kind of thing so it test your uh, amount of knowledge so there are a significant difference between these two tests so like fmts i was able to do well but tapasya some test i was not able to do well like i got really bad scores which i have never even got during my time of preparation so i was that much stressed and in those period of time like mainly my family helped me to help me over like they started like it's just one test you leave it like some tests they didn't they corrected my papers they didn't even tell my scores like that amount of uh, help they did they helped me overcome my stress to a great extent and of course i had friends who i talked to and interacted like mainly more than family i would say friends made me uh, take my stress level down and uh, they just help me come over with that uh, difficult times i would say uh, like that mainly I, like i would speak a lot with my friends and uh, not about studies but about other things which is funny and uh, current affairs all those things i used to speak and uh, that helped me to think away from studies and it rejuvenated my mind so that i can uh, prepare for the next test and give it in a fresh mind give them test in a fresh mind so that i would score i would see my scores jump not much but 5 marks or 6 marks but if you do that consistently if at the end of 20 test you'd see a, a jump of 100 marks which is very great uh, like i follow current affairs so that's the only thing uh, which is out of extra curricular i didn't fi- find that much time uh, i actually slept a lot a minimum 9 or 10 hours i would say that is very important most people will compromise i have seen some of my friends who are like uh, who slept only like 2 hours per day in the last few weeks and uh, like they did, they didn't i would say they did good but if they didn't do that they would have done pretty much better than that you shouldn't you should never compromise on your sleep because it affects your mental stress level like if you don't sleep well your stress level will increase i would like to thank first of all my parents who have provided an opportunity in this institute to, t- to take up coaching in this institute and my faculty members my evo and uh, all my friends also who helped me who motivated me when i was feeling down and they they, they just uh, helped me in a lot other ways and i also wanted to make another thing your friends might come and ask you doubts some people just uh, hey, this is small topic why are you asking me this but don't do that like uh, that may be a silly doubt but if you clarify that silly doubt also like you will get more clarity on the concept before uh, like before what you had that clarity you will get 
so just clear your friends doubt and don't uh, you also you also ask doubts to your friends so that you also can get more clarity